Hello, my dear Aries. Welcome to your October 2021 reading. I hope you are doing amazing. We are going to take some cards here in just a second. Aries, welcome to those of you that are repeat viewers and those of you that are brand new. Super happy to have you here. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet so that we can connect. Also, all my active social media accounts, which I'm trying to, to build now. So I'd love for you to follow me over on all of those. Um, they are down below in the description box. So if that's of interest to you and you want to connect on some other social platforms, just know that the only um, DMs I answer are actual emails rather than DMs. So just so you know. But you can follow me over on my personal Instagram account, my Empress Moon Instagram account, all that good stuff. All right, Aries, let's get rolling. We're going to be looking at the table for a brief moment, Aries, and then we'll be right back with my face to you. All right, Aries, we have the High Priestess, the Devil. The Three of Coins, the Ten of Swords, Star Card in the Reverse, the Six of Wands, Three of Swords in the Reverse, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups in the Reverse. Wow, okay. <laughs> Not looking too great. So we have the Four of Pentacles. Let's take a couple couple cards is so interesting Aries because uh, you're getting a rough one Leo got a rough one I haven't done Sag Sagittarius is after you but you fire signs you're getting like pummeled during October all right Aries we have action hunger and blossoming. All right, my dears, let's uh, let's go ahead and let's move the camera back up. Provided I can do so. All right. Okay, Aries. Blossoming. So you have something taking off the ground. Um, interestingly, where you end up is good for you but not necessarily good for love okay so just so you know where you end up is good for you but not necessarily good for love so i feel that you're going to go through some um, personal trials and difficulties in the month of october so sit tight let's talk about them um i do see you are sitting in this sort of um this energy of a little bit of worry a little bit of vulnerability right it's like you know you don't want to be vulnerable you don't want to open up you might be afraid you're going to lose some money you might be which i see you could so please be careful with your money in october um so you may be afraid you're going to lose some money you may be afraid that you could lose a romantic interest you may feel like you have been unsuccessful in the recent days or maybe not seeing the kind of success you'd like to see in your life but yet something is getting off the ground something is starting something is moving forward center of everything star in the reverse aries i feel that there is a situation here that you feel you have healed from three of swords it could have been the loss of a loved one. It could have been the breakup of a relationship. It could be that Mercury retrograde has brought your memories back towards a person from the past who you long to see, you long to be with. I see some overthinking here with these two cards together. A lot of overthinking, some difficult energy, being in the headspace, being a little bit trapped in the mind. Um, I also see that with these particular cards, there's a sense of dissatisfaction in your life. As you move in, as you roll through October, you may feel rather dissatisfied with the direction you're moving in. Now, I feel, Aries, that you're trying your best to release any worries and fears associated with whatever this heartbreak is, whatever this struggle is. 
You're trying your best to release that. And in trying your best to release that, I feel that you're discovering maybe there's more you need to work on. You haven't quite obtained what it is that you desire. You haven't quite achieved the goal that you wish to achieve. And I don't see you achieving it early in October. Notice I said early. We've got some good movement towards the end of October, okay? Now we have you sitting in this high priestess energy. Perhaps you feel that something has been hidden from you and that's what you've been overcoming. Maybe somebody betrayed you. Maybe somebody cheated on you. Maybe somebody made you feel less than important in their life. You could also be dealing with some very big job woes with those three cards. Big job hurdles, big job woes during the month of October. I see you working your tush off during the month of October, Aries. Work, 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 work. But I also see you distracted, not wanting to work, not wanting to put in the effort because you got a lot going on here. This could lead to the potential to overuse recreational substances in order to soothe the soul. Um, the, the energy of the devil is also one in which, you know, you may find that with that devil energy, you may find that you're um, very much taken by temptations of all sorts during the month of October because things aren't going your way as you roll through the beginning in the middle of the month, all right? There's gonna be a kind of a difficult energy there. Try not to overspend because I do see the potential for um, some financial woes, okay? Um, as a matter of fact, let me see, if, let me grab a, a deck real quick, okay? Hold on. Um. Um, those of you dealing with court cases or legal matters, it may not go your way, Aries, so please uh, use caution. Um, that may be why I was getting some financial hurdle. Ooh, those went flying out. Those of you that are, are uh, married, it looks like there's a focus on working too much and it affecting a marriage. Um, you could also be dealing with some parents having marital problems as well, or some friends having some marital issues. It seems like they're going to make their problems your problems. You're going to be inspired to take some sort of action. There's going to be this energy that drives you forward to take some sort of inspired action. And when this comes up during the month of October, Aries, do pay attention to it. Allow your intuition to guide you and do pay attention to whatever this inspirational energy is because it looks like you're going to be working with another person very likely in the workplace and I see success and recognition finally coming your way. So I do see success and recognition. If it's your job, I'm not so sure you're going to want to stay, but success, recognition, the possibility of things moving forward in a good way. Um, we have the chariot in reverse, so I think it's been a long climb. Eight of cups in the reverse. There's a part of you that may want to walk away from a job, may want to walk away from a relationship. Ace of swords. It looks like that chariot and the eight of cups are actually in the upright, but the meaning I gave you is still the same. Um... So Aries, whatever this epiphany is, you really need to listen. It's coming up in October, right? It's coming up in October and it's going to bring you, it's going to bring you victory. It's going to bring you recognition. It's going to bring you a sense of accomplishment. It's going to bring you a sense of togetherness. Um, it's going to help you to achieve some sort of goal. All right, Aries, that's all I have for you for October, 2021. 
was a rather boring one, I would say. I'm sure you probably felt that way too. Don't you worry, Aries. <laughs> I can't help the cards they give me. This is what we got. So on your next reading, uh, I'll make you up, up first in the next uh, group at 12. And hopefully we'll get something really beautiful. All right. All right, Aries, love and light to you. Big hug from Kimmy. Kiss, kiss. Mwah. I'll see you again soon. Bye.